Which Quest headset is the easiest to repair? I get this question a lot, and for good reason. If you're gonna spend your hard-earned money or someone else's on a VR headset, you kinda wanna know that if it breaks, there's at least a chance that it's fixable. Let's start with the worst, Quest Pro. This thing is an utter nightmare to work on. It's got tons of adhesive, fragile cables that don't disconnect from their components, and the head strap doesn't come off. So you've gotta work around this constantly while you're repairing this thing. The battery comes off, but the head strap doesn't. Plus, because of how many sensors it has in it, it's a total pain to troubleshoot, and if you screw it up, it's the hardest to get replacement parts for. Next up is the Quest 3. I've actually grown to enjoy working on these now that I've done like 200 of them, but they're still a pain. Everything in here is super compact. Accessing things like the speaker arms or the LCDs requires a full teardown. Actually, almost everything requires a full teardown. Also, the Quest 3 has my least favorite feature non-ferrous screws. They don't magnetize to your screwdriver, which makes putting them back in super tedious and losing them super easy. The Quest 1 is much better though. There's a little bit of a trick to removing the speaker arms, but once you get that part figured out and you take the cloth off that goes around the outside, everything else about this headset is pretty easy to unscrew and access. Now the Quest 2, it's tried and true. This is the one that I've worked on the most and everything on this headset is pretty replaceable and accessible. Even if you've never repaired a headset before, you could probably pull off a fix with just a little guidance. And and at number one we have, get out of here. It's the Quest 3S. The Quest 3S is a lot like the Quest 2, but just slightly better. The Quest 3S doesn't have a proximity sensor on the face shield that you can rip off by accident, and the screws around the face shield are T3s instead of T2s, which makes them a little less likely to strip, and for beginners, I feel like that makes a real difference. But what do you guys think? Does repairability affect your decision when buying a headset? Drop me a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR-related content like this.